Hey YouTube, Doc White here, and we're about to put this 3.38 limited slip rear differential into my E36 M3. Here's the tag showing 3.38. This S is the marking BMW puts on to show that it's a limited slip rear diff. Sometimes there's also a tag on one of the rear bolts that'll list out 3.38 S, but this differential doesn't have it. I sourced this one off of eBay, and it came out of an M3 automatic with 130-ish thousand miles on it. I've already replaced the transmission fluid in it. It's much easier to do it on the ground. Okay, let's go over to the car. There's the car. It is my NASA TTC car. It's set up quite nicely, and it's a lot of fun. So, in the back, you can see the stock 3.23 limited slit differential. You need to back off these E12 reverse Torx bolts. There's six of them. I've got these finger, finger loose, the ones that I could reach. Then, over here on the drive shaft, I've got a four bolt flange on this diff to match the one out of the 3.38. There's these 16 millimeter nuts these are captive studs on the drive shaft. You're going to have to pull the differential back out towards the back of the car to get it off. You're also going to need to remove your rear sway bar. I have a UUC sway bar bearing. These were 17 millimeters here, 13 millimeters here for the bracket. I also dropped my exhaust system, as you can see. I just took the two hangers off, 12 millimeters, four bolts, one, two, three, four, removed it from the hanger up here. At this point, what I need to do is I need to jack up the car so I can rotate the drive axles to get at the other bolts that I can't reach here, as well as turning the drive shaft so I can get to that nut right there. Once I do that, I can take off the three 18 millimeter bolts. There's one front diff bolt here, two rear diff bolts here and here. Once I do that, the differential will come out towards the back of the car.